to Virginia, welcome 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 to Virginia. D -d 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 action What up everybody, it's your boy Jim Cat It's your boy N.A. Pro This is the Welcome to Virginia podcast, podcast. How's everybody out there doing today? <sighs> I know I'm a little hot, muggy today Yes, it's 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 no sun out, but it's mad muggy out here I know, it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to rain today But it's don't matter anyway Because you're going to be watching this in a day or two, hopefully <laughs> It was it was calling for rain, but yeah. I seen a little bit of drizzle But not much after that Anyway, what's going on with you? Oh, not much. Um, just hustling, willing, dealing, rhyming, and bribe. That don't rhyme. Don't yeah. Mind. It, it sounded good at first, but hit a dead end. Mm-hmm. I hit a lot of those in my life, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I ain't doing too much, man. Just still, um, hell, I've been working on my song for uh, this compilation. I did okay. the one that you heard, but... I wanted to do one that was more official, mm -hmm. so I did like God a Welcome it. to Virginia type record. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. And so, yeah, I've been working on the hook for that. The hook is pretty much done. I just got to put the, the lyrics to it. How's the hook go? I don't want to let y'all know that. I'm singing on the hook, so you know it's magnificent. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Always. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got that going on. I, t I, t I kind of want to... Um, do the the compilation old school like how they used to have the um the, the host yeah the, have the yeah. host on there but kind of different to where every track i'm introduced inducing each artist okay with a kind of a little bit of a uh backstory just a little bit like oh, a few seconds of what was who they are you know what i'm saying so i kind of want to do it that way DJ K, 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 K Slay. Like I said, we waiting on a few more people to send mm -hmm. in some uh, some music that that are some key pieces to yeah. what makes this compilation dope. So and after I've, that, I've been in the process of getting everything mastered, everything you know, sounding real smooth as shit, sounding industry ready basically. So yeah. So after that, man, we can start formulating and getting that thing together. And put it out there to these great SVA folks in all oh, surrounding yeah. areas. You yes, know what sir. I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we were thinking of doing a little reaction video today, but we we're still debating on what to react to because it's Actually, always. I, I got. Uh, I, I wanted to react to Casa Not. Okay. Oh. The, the, the YouTube streamer, Twitch streamer now, because I think he got kicked off of YouTube or whatever. Damn. Maybe okay. he didn't. I'm not sure. He probably said too many explicit. I think he just has a podcast. deal with Twitch. Okay. So he went. He, he he promised his six million followers mm -hmm. that he would be having a PS five giveaway yeah. in New York. And it turned into total chaos. People where, getting where, hurt. Where were they at in New York? I don't know, probably Times Square. I can't even okay. remember. I'm we're gonna listen to it and yeah. see. Everybody put themselves There's a war out there, man. Hey. This morning, a popular Twitch streamer is out on bail in New York City. Investigators say he incited a riot causing chaos. We now know more than 60 people were arrested during this event, and hundreds of people were treated for minor injuries. New York police say Casanet promised his more than 6 million Twitch followers that Damn. he would have free PlayStation 5s to give away at this event, mm. but he did not have them and quickly lost control of the <laughs> crowd. Did not NYPD confirms the crowd was large made of Ooh. thousands of underage teenagers witnesses say these teens gathered in this area quickly went from riled up to violent damn i saw people fighting around me i saw two guys pushing the way they went down my stop so i was really scared he was really a scare faces <laughs> trying to incite a riot and unlawful assembly yo that's crazy i like. know yeah like why I mean, you know, they say any publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah, but, man. I th at this point, I think he just ran out of... He, well, I think he just did something without actually thinking it through. Exactly, yeah. Because this guy, like, like you said, he has 6 million followers. He got a crap ton of money. He does crazy stuff all the time. Like, he got kicked out of his last uh, crib mm. because they shot off fireworks oh, in one Christ. of the rooms. And they, was just, they were renting the crib, so they... Screwed the room up. So, they, so it's basically crazy YouTuber type shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, just, just doing for, everything for, for content. Yeah. 
Now, when you playing with real people, like it's one thing when you got your little folks mm-hmm. and y'all doing skits, but yeah. when you playing with real people out in the real world like that, that's what happens. Especially when you get the the five O, the yeah, Popo, man. the cops, whatever corny ass name you want to call them nowadays. This dude is obviously young, mm-hmm. not thinking clearly. Yeah, you gonna promise six million people that you gonna have PS Five for giveaway? Is yeah. They would have came just because you said you was gonna be there. Exactly. But now yeah. they think they're getting some free stuff. And then when you don't give them all free shit, when you don't have a single one to give them, now they going crazy. Then, yeah, it, it was a girl. Was like, it was a girl out there on a the te- telephone pole mm-hmm. with her skirt up and her thong popping her behind Ooh, with a bunch of strangers just smacking okay. her on her backside. Jesus. I was like, goodness great. There's me tear the telephone pole she's, down. She's she about to be the next YouTube star. <laughs> when she's YouTube famous, I don't think they saw her face, but mm-hmm. they definitely got her, bu- uh, her, exactly. her buttons in there. It's now, crazy, not, man. Well... Yeah, she gonna come out with an OnlyFans. That's what's gonna happen. Well, let me know what y'all think about that. Oh, that yeah. video as well, man. That's some wild we, shit. We try to get that kind of clout, but I ain't willing to go that far to to go get I it. I mean, I, I'll give you some small PlayStation Four from the pawn shop if y'all <laughs> want them for yeah. one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Just meet us at the Montgomery Hall Park next mm-hmm. Sunday. Yep. See what kind of uh, riot we in sight. It's gonna be about three and a half people out here. She's crazy, Sitting around man. smoking and drinking. She That's going to be crazy. the ride we got. Damn, I just now realized I was supposed to hit up um, Loose Can. I was supposed to hit up James. Oh, shit. Okay. He wanted to come kick it with us, but I forgot all about it. Damn. It's all yeah. good. Shout out to Loose Can, man. Shout yeah, out to... for sure. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. You sent me a new V. Beatty video earlier. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, glad yeah, to see he do- I'm glad to see he doing... Oh, yeah. Doing, getting back into it, man. He one of my favorite local artists from around here. That's one thing I can, I can, I've always had high regard for. It's just people. You find something you love to do, and you just you stick with it, no yeah. matter what. You know, you just keep grinding, keep hustling all your life. I mean, nothing. Ain't, ain't nobody out there gonna guarantee you any kind of success except yourself. Yeah. Yep. V. Beatty always been. Uh, he always been dope. He always stood out to me as yeah, one of, as one stuff. of the best artists around here. So shout out to you, man. Thanks for your submission on the on the uh, compilation. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? for sure, for sure. So that's gonna be something dope to look forward to as well. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, did you did you ever figure out how many tracks we had on there? Because I haven't even gone back and looked. I think it was about so far eighteen or more. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's eighteen and counting right okay, now. But. So it's, I mean, I don't, I don't I, know. I if, did see you to taste on the Prince one, didn't I? No, I don't think so. I need to see uh, yeah. you that because he was the first one to give me one. And oh, I sure, thought about man. it when I was sending you all of them. I, did, I felt like I didn't send you his. Yeah. I will, well, I'll send it though. We probably going to sit down here in the very, very near future and just get everything laid out and get, yeah, get the like, that's visuals. Gonna be, and, that's going to be fun, fun putting it in order of oh, how it's going to yeah. flow. And we can record all the shout outs and everything it's yeah yeah man probably maybe go live or something and talk to the people let them know what's going on as oh, we're yes, working yes. on it you know what i'm saying oh uh, what else what else That'll we got going on dope. right now i've um no we we I've, I've been trying to get back into shooting music videos and i've had a few people hit me up recently i just work in the way i do it's I only got one day off at a time, so it's kind of hard to get get up with some people sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm definitely trying to get back into that rhythm because I got all this knowledge that I you know it's we we already trying to support our community anyway with this podcast. But you know I, we we want to go above and beyond and try to give people I guess uh, an official outlet where they can really be heard. And yeah. I mean you know we. We ain't saying we're the only people around here who can do that, but it's, you know, it, it, it helps. No doubt. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be getting you to get you one for me soon. Because I've gotten the bug again. I'm going to start making some music. I keep saying that and I don't, but I have been working on it. This is probably the second record I worked on in the last month or so. What was the first video we ever shot? Because I've remastered a few of them. Ever shot? Yeah. It was, uh, uh, was it One Train? Either one. The, uh, was it one train or did we shoot Good Times first? Good Times, yeah, that's what it was, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think it was yeah. Good Times. I think I, everything else came after that. Because I was shooting back then, but I wasn't editing. So now, you know, I, I got 
Got all that on lock, I think. I feel like I do, at least. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, good times. That was a, People still love that song. Mm-hmm. That beat was... Woo, I don't know who made that beat, but that shit was fire. <laughs> it ain't on the beat. Woo. Yeah, I still love that song. I go back and listen to beats I made many, many years ago, and I'm... I don't know. I just... Like, I, like mentally, I feel more clarity and vision and, and focus than ever, but... Back then, I don't know. I was just kind of on autopilot. And I was just, whatever came to my head, I was just making. And it, it, yeah. just, it was decent. There was a time when all I thought about was music. That's all I did mm-hmm. was music. Couldn't wait to yeah. make some music. That was, um, oof, I started making beats in like 2004. Damn. Yeah, 20, almost 20 fucking years ago. It's hard to imagine now, but. So we've been doing this, man. We've been doing this music. It. Yeah. I mean, y'all just started yeah. rapping last year. I mean, who else you know they can stick with something consistent well? All this consistently the king. for, yeah. I call yourself the king, been rapping for five years. King of what? <laughs> king of your mama's basement? Shut up, that bullshit, man. Sitting in a corner with a little crown on, looking around. Still rapping off of a karaoke mic. Shut up, <laughs> that bullshit. Everything I see is what I rule. <laughs> It's all good though. You got to start somewhere. I exactly. rise. I did yeah. a whole. I did a whole album on a karaoke machine. Just don't let your ego get a far. Get too far ahead of your talent. Don't ma- don't let your ego make you a bee ho. <laughs> For real. <laughs> no doubt. Especially around here, you can't have an ego when you come from a small town because people are already gonna hate on you anyway. Yeah, yeah. So when you don't show yeah. no type of uh, humbleness or nothing like that, or you, they they get a little glimpse of you feeling yourself, they mm-hmm. just have a reason to talk crap on you. Which brings me to my next point. There was one little hater that was on the internet, mm-hmm. little uh, Purdue looking scrawny white boy, that was jocking everything we did, but then going and doing subliminal, throwing subliminal shots. Then going in my inbox and saying he could, uh, oh, he could do this if he re- really wanted to. He could do that. Then you could see him trying to do it and it never mm-hmm. worked. Yeah. And then, then he deleted me as a friend. I was like, damn, he must really got tired of us doing stuff. I and I spoke with this before, but recently I was on Instagram and I realized he was still my friend on Instagram. Oh, so shit. I was like, so, okay, you deleted me on Facebook, but you still trying to watch me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So I deleted him on Instagram. Then he going to send me a message like, Oh, hate, haters! Um, hate the haters hate, but still want to watch. I'm like, motherfucker, I don't watch anything that you do. Like, and then I didn't even want to engage with because I literally uh, could smack this dude and break uh, you, his jaw. You should have been like, yeah, they do. I mean, yeah, thanks for the views, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, like, like he, I, I felt like he was talking about himself, hating on me because I, I, you don't even do anything. So yeah, what am I hating right. on? I mean, yeah, they can't hate unless they watch, and any any watch, negative or positive, is still going to be a view. Dude looks so, ridiculous. Like, it's, if you ever read the 48 Laws of Power, it's uh, it's some old school prison. What the fuck was that? Yo. What was it? Anyway, some uh, old school <laughs> knowledge for y'all. It's uh, read, read that book if you get a chance. The 48 Laws of Power. Somebody might be calling me dog. I know. Bur- got Birdman in the bushes. Brrr. See, I told you. Yeah, what happened to that boy? Uh, he he ran down there to take a shit. Anyways, anyways, right. yeah, I was talking about the Forty Eight Laws of Power. <laughs> it's, it's one in there that um, is is kind of like you know, any, any publicity is good publicity. You got to court attention at any cost. Yeah. So that's I mean, why all, all the haters invite the haters actually love for real. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it yeah. ain't nothing but jealousy and envy. Mm-hmm. They are the person only hating because they're seeing something that you're doing and they wish they could do it too. Yeah. Basically. My whole thing is. Don't tell me about how you could do it and oh if you was doing it, do it. Mm-hmm. Just do it then. If I if I see something that I don't like or that I, I see something I, that I think, you know, that could be improved. I, I just know, try I, to do I, it. Yeah, exactly. Because you, 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 you don't have to prove it to me that you can do it. Prove yeah. it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Or like I, I'll try to help you. You know, I'll try yeah. to say, hey, you know, you could... You could do this. You could, uh, you know, use this on your videos and make that pop. And you could, you know, do this with your vocals. And, and shit. this is this is coming from people that I invited to come on the show. Mm-hmm. Looked out. I and I was like, yo, if you want to come on? Let me know what your days off are. Yeah. Come on, shoot the shoot the crowd with it. I thought it'd be cool just to um, go back and forth with these people. Yeah. But no, nah, they just it can't stand to see you trying to do something. Uh, I, I, I feel like 
I guess, you know, people see us doing what we're doing and they think, oh, you know, they let that shit go to their head, get an ego. But we do this because we love to create. Yeah, you know we just saying? love to make and stuff. And anybody who knows me knows I love to talk. So this was mm-hmm. what I wanted to do for a long time. Oh, and hell yeah. I watch podcasts. Whenever I have any spare time, that's what I'm doing. I'm watching yep. podcasts. Mm-hmm. I don't even look at TV unless it's a certain show or a sports event that I no, want to no, watch. I will say I have been getting into billions lately. I still oh, haven't gotten into it yet. He's, he's crazy in that show but i still haven't gotten into it yet it's one that you really got to pay attention because it's like a tv show version of chess you know uh, i ain't never played chess myself but it's, it. you gotta fucking be deep into it i got somebody tried to show me how to play chess one time and mm-hmm. i got the hang of it but i didn't play long enough to even well, see you have, have to a have stick a, in my mind you have to have a really big picture kind of mind to be able to do that because you got to see your reaction, their reaction, your reaction you to that. Before, you yeah. got to see five, six, seven. trying to say, Todd? I don't have a big enough mind. No, you that. should. You probably one of the most thinking people I know. That's what you so, say. <laughs> oh, I'm over here hating. Okay. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Sound you like get, somebody else. You need to get a t-shirt that says, I am a hater. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Let's hate together. The Shy is back on TV too, man. That's okay. what I, I'm, I'm trying to watch. I need to check that That's out. That's my show. I forgot what season it is. Six, I think. Rest in peace, Mark Magolis. Yeah, man. Breaking Bad actor, man. How Scarface. You... Scarface. Scarface. 30 Saul. meters. 30 meters. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. I told you. <laughs> Classic actor, man. He yeah, was, man. Rest he in was peace. 83 years old. That's. I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to be doing when I'm 83, but uh, hopefully I'll, I'm still going to be creating. Because you got to think, he did Better Call Saul. That's considered, well, and Breaking Bad, cause both considered two of the greatest TV yeah, shows man, he's ever. Been a, he's been a part of like television history in the best way. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah and definitely. all his parts, every role he played was iconic. Mm-hmm. Like You remember it. Everything yeah. he did stood out. I mean, you just one 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 scene with Hector Salamanca. You know, you can you can feel the fear <laughs> yeah, and the, the yeah. fucking tension yeah, emanating man. from the TV. Who would think that somebody played a role? He ain't even speaking. He don't even have a speaking mm-hmm. role. But you know exactly who he was. And those are some very intense tense moments on that TV show. Now, now, whenever I hear that little ding ding fucking bell <laughs> sound, I, I think I'm about to blow up. That shit's crazy. No, <gasps> Breaking Bad, arguably yes. the greatest television show in history. I could go home and watch it right now, like it just came out. And, exactly. And yeah. Still be, yeah. Science, bitch. And still love it. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, shout out Vince Gilligan. Word. But I think, unless you got anything else you want to speak on, do you have be... anything else that I want to speak on? Oh, it's always something we could speak on. But I we... got a new album in the mail today. Oh no, that's, that didn't happen. You can get them Columbia House CDs. <laughs> Those were the good old days, man. Hell yeah. You remember, remember you could get uh, like 10 albums for a penny or some shit? I know. Then you never pay them anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> I used to get. I think I got Christmas um, albums from from those uh, from those um, little penny things. I would ask for records, and then for Christmas I would get them. Oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I, think I, got the, I think the Snoop Dogg album came from one of those. Ooh, Doggy the original style. Doggy yeah. style. That was his. I saw some people online talking about um, the Dog Father was his first album. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? What? Where, where did y'all grow up? Like exactly. Yeah, because he he hooked up with Dr. Dre, and he did. It was the like. The They're talking about how Snoop, how Tupac was bigger than Snoop, and Snoop albums that didn't sell like Snoop. I'm like Snoop's doggy style was the biggest thing that ever exactly, freaking came yeah. out. Like, what are you talking about? at that time as far Murder as gangster rap? was the case that they gave me. Like, what are you talking about? And you know, he, Snoop actually went on trial for murder. Yeah, he, he's one of the one of the first the televised, real, the yeah. realist, and yeah, the most popular uh, rapper on the planet is Snoop mm-hmm. Dogg. I mean, R.I.P. Tupac. How, how you get, R.I.P. Tupac. How, how you get away with shooting two cops and just go about your life? That's some gangster shit right there. I was just watching yeah. the I was just watching the doc, uh, not documentary, but interview with Tupac's uh, actual biological father. Oh shit! Okay. I was watching that before I came up here, and he was mm-hmm. talking about how when he when Tupac died, and they were talking about it, um, they were going to see his estate and his finances or whatever like yeah. that. His mother had him let they took him off the birth certificate as the father said his father was dead. Oh, so shit. he wouldn't be able to be able to get no money off the estate. Damn. But he was like he didn't want no money anyway. He just wanted to wanted it to be known that he was his father because exactly, for years yeah. he wasn't able to, to do that. He, I, I mean, think he still wanted some money. Tupac died in nineteen ninety six. So you gotta think that's almost that was what, 
26 years ago. And we still having interviews about this guy today like he mm-hmm. died uh, a couple months ago. That's how legendary he is. And people are like, oh, man, he ain't dead. Look, he's still putting on new music now. Do you realize how little time you need to record hundreds of songs? Yeah, man. I mean, a song, if if you already know the verses, you can lay a song down in an hour. And, and if any, got... anybody knows Tupac's work ethic or you've seen any footage mm-hmm. or documentaries on how yeah. he worked, he would literally just go in the studio. He would uh, have the producer bring up, break up a beat. Mm-hmm. He would write to it, record it and go to the next beat they would yep. fill in all the other stuff later like he would yep. just rap he would he would do like five six songs a night he did he put out a um one of his albums i'm not sure which one mm. but he put it out in like two weeks yeah and at that time that wasn't even heard of because it was taking people a year or two oh, to exactly. put out albums yep. and y'all i mean the people saying oh he ain't dead he fucking faked his death blah 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 y'all need to just let that man rest in peace and appreciate all the amazing gifts he left us the only reason why i feel like the only reason why it feels like he's not dead is because he had that much of an effect on the world. Exactly. And his music is just that much, that was that much impactful that... I mean, I was, yeah. I was only 10 years old and I heard on the radio, I, I remember where I was when I heard that he died. And I was just 10 year, 10, little 10 year old chubby white boy. I was like, God damn, Tupac, I was in my the man Stan Tupac Mall. died. I was in the Stan Mall. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. to the Stan Mall. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Every, everything did. Man. I was walking through the Stan Mall, and I remember, I think it was mm-hmm. uh, my homeboy, Chris Robinson. He was crying because he loved Tupac. Yeah. He was in the mall. I was like, what the hell wrong with you? you Tupac died, oh, man. Yeah, I was at a little churchyard sale. The one, actually, it's right down from your house. <laughs> that big church across yeah. the street from the mission. I was at a yard sale with my mama, and somebody had a radio on. Damn. Tupac shot, how many times was he? He shot six times, right? I don't know how many times he got shot that time. Yeah, that time, yeah. yeah. You've been shot so many times, but. But I think that's about all we got for this week. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell it is you smoking. It smelled pretty good. Oh, it's, it's Mike Tyson's new strawberry <laughs> banana vape. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it smells like. It smells like yeah. banana pudding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mike Tyson. This shit is heavyweight. This shit ain't bad. I know that shit's crazy. Mike Tyson knows his vapes. But he does. Anyway, you guys have a blessed and beautiful Sunday. This has been another wonderful and outstanding episode of the Welcome to Virginia podcast. Episode 27. Peace. Peace. <laughs>